Alright, so we have imported the swimming pools into our trailhead playground. Now I'm going to take out those names, 150 of them, and just delete it off this list so we can use um, other names, other fake names for the swimming instructor. So let's load um, how much, how many? Let's load 100 um, swimming instructors, okay? So I'm going to copy 100, so until 101 here. Until Donald, I'm going to actually copy this and add a new tab and paste this. And then I'm going to do that and view so you can see better. Zoom. 150. I'm going to add a new column and account name which is going to be a formula for Excel not Salesforce concatenate the net this one comma space comma last name enter and I'm gonna double click on this green box boom so we have account name car oops um, contact first name contact last name this is for the swimming instructor okay I'm gonna share the file with you so don't worry to to do all this but I want to show you though so you can actually see how it's done so I don't need all these columns so I'm gonna delete those and I'm going to save this as swimming instructor CSV and I'm gonna share it with you here I'm gonna save and replace I'm gonna share the file with you so you can load it up and let's go ahead and load it up so let's go back to our trailhead playground back here so I'm going to close this one and let's close all the ones that we're done with close close uh, we're done with that but let's keep that for now close this and close this again and let's see uh, back to the trailhead I'm gonna go to setup here and set up so under setup we go to data import wizard and we are going to import the swimming instructors all right so I'm going to launch the wizard again from the bottom here account and contacts add new records we don't do the matching because we are adding new ones and not updating so I'm gonna uh, leave that as it is record type would be swimming instructor which is this one all right so I'm gonna upload my CSV choose the file which I'm going to share with you the instructor file so you can load this up to your trailhead playground as well and hit next all right so we have this map and then the street address that would be account um, billing street map that out and map and then the city would be billing city and map that out and the zip code would be zip code billing zip code map that out and the phone number would be phone and that would be the last one account phone and maybe contact phone as well right mm. contact phone as well so it's the same one map maybe email is contact email yep this is right so that's okay what's this 
Okay, that's fine. We have contact phone and account phone. And let's hit next here. So this would be the swimming instructor. And okay. And we have zero fail. So we have the instructors loaded. Okay, so let's go back to our sheet here. So I'm going to delete those ones that we just used until 101. Donald Jones, I'm going to delete this. Okay, so we won't be using the same names. And now we are going to load the parents. Okay, so I'm going to close this out, close this tab. We're done with it for now. Delete. I'm going to load how many parents? Maybe just 50 parents. Okay. 50 parents for this particular example. Otherwise, our trailhead playground will get overloaded. We just have, is it 5 megabyte, which is not much of data. Okay, I'm going to copy this and make a new one here. So this would be the parent. All right, so we want to, We want to keep the card details there because the parent will have to make payment for the swimming lessons. I'm going to zoom this up first. So this card, this is fake, okay? This is fake data. I'm going to keep that. And we are going to add a new column. Same thing, account name. This would be um, equals concatenate this comma space comma last name enter Margaret Kane and double click on that so there we have it we have the account name this is contact first name contact last name Okay, and then the rest we want to use. So, we don't need the parents' birthday. I don't think parents will give birthdays. The student will. So, I'm just going to delete this for now. Okay, so we want that. So, that's good for the sample data. And I'm going to save this as parents. Okay. Save as a CSV file and I'm going to name it parents. Okay, parents. Save. Okay, and yes. Now let's load up the parents. Back to here, the same thing again. Data import wizard. Okay, now you drive. You show me. Where do we go? Bottom, launch wizard. Good. Accounts and contacts. We're getting into a flow here. Add new records. We're flowing and then CSV, oh, nope, family, okay, the parent, okay, the family is here. Now we are going to CSV and load it up again, the parents and open and next. So let's map all this um, billing address of the account. Or billing street excuse me billing street map billing city map billing postal bill billing there map phone Mm. Last type phone. Sure. So the credit card, do we have the credit card details? Let's just skip it for now. I don't think we have fields ready to load this up. So I'm going to do that when we are creating the payment object later in the trails. Okay. So I'm going to skip that for now. So I'm not going to map those four for now. And okay. So we have 50 parents processed, right? So now we have the parents um, loaded, but now what about the students? 
the students usually have different last names, right? No, my bad. Different first names than the parent. So Margaret have, uh, you know, the account name would be the parent's account name, but the the student would be a different first name. Okay, so let's um, export all the parents. So we're gonna link up the parents and the students, but actually let's do that on the next video. It's a bit. Um, a little bit more complex because you are going to look uh, the ID, the record ID, and I want to dedicate uh, a, sep a separate video for that. So that's it for this one, and I'll see you on the last data import video for the student records and also probably the lessons, and then we're good to go. Okay, I'll see you on the next video.